going into his November rematch showdown against Robeson Kinsekiao, Oshaki Foster had to respond to Lamont Roach Jr.'s claim that he hasn't fought anyone ahead of his challenge this December against Javante Tank Davis. Let's talk about what Oshaki had to say in response to Roach Jr. It can easily be said that Lamont Roach Jr. is filling himself. As we look at the current WBA title holder at 130 pounds, he is all set for a December showdown against Javante Tank Davis, a fight that will assist him in hitting the lottery. But before that, he wants to hit hard against a contemporary at the junior lightweight class and former WBC titleist Oshaki Foster, who lost his title just a couple of months ago when he took on Robeson Kensekao in one of boxing's most lopsided, what people consider robbery decisions in recent memory. The only thing about it is that Oshaki is taking this personal because Roach could have challenged him far before now, but at the same time, Roach is feeling himself because of he's starting to get a little bit of recognition and again with the opportunity with Tank Davis coming up in December, he's looking ahead. But as Oshaki has said, he could be the guy to really teach Lamont Roach Jr. a lesson. He says, this dude is a tweaking bozo. It's crazy because I've seen him say I'm one of them guys. He says, though we never shared the ring because if we shared the ring, he, would be, he wouldn't be talking like that. And I promise you, if it was amateurs sparring wherever, anytime I would have met him in the ring, he wouldn't have been talking like that because anybody that's been in the ring with me, you don't hear them talk like that at all. Roach is presently 25 and one with one draw and 10 KOs. Oshaki went on to say he's talking so much, he better handle his business in December against Tank Davis. There's gonna be a lot of backlash. You're doing all of that big talk. Don't go up there and shit the bed. Wait, wet the bed. He do everything good, nothing great. For me, he's average, Foster said. See, the thing is, why I don't really respect all that talking, you ain't fought nobody, you defended your title against some, I mean, come on, man, we know. We stacking up resumes against him or anybody else that's champions, it's no comparison. I happen to agree with Oshaki, who is not a braggart or a boastful guy. He's very confident and accomplished in his championship run as well as how he's approached his career. He's been a guy to return from setbacks and he has always sought the opportunities to fight the best. We've seen his own promoter and matchmaker try to put him in situations of difficulty that promoters who align themselves with specific fighters do not do. In other words, you can almost say like they were trying to set him up to lose, but it is not that situation that makes you lose. It's not being prepared, not being capable, not being as valued of a talent as you could be in the sport. And we've seen time and time again, there have been examples as far as Roach, who lost a big decision earlier in his career, he has to think about whom Oshaki is as a fighter. But at the same time, he's moving up a weight class to challenge a, a daunted and vaunted champion in Tank Davis, who has been stopping his opposition 
though they have been, according to many's thoughts, cherry-picked. So there's not a lot of consideration for Roach, who will have to come out of a shell to defeat him. Now he went on to say, after I win against Davis, he can come up to 135 and I'll smoke him. I'll smoke him. On my mother, I'm smoking him. I'm really one of them. No funny, no disrespect to nobody I've ever been in the ring with. Ask them for real or pull up. Come to camp or something. Show me that I'm not. You see, that type of talk, that type of talk is rhetoric that it doesn't necessarily build fights. It's kind of one of those things of where you're talking with bravado to make sure that people think that you're a tough guy or a guy who is willing and capable. But Oshaki has done it in the ring. He really has. And when he's faced up against his opposition, he knows that when people come for him, he steps his level of execution up, his defense, his mental sharpness and faculties. That's something that is really immeasurable, especially amongst fighters of today. When you look at Lamont Roach and you go back to when he fought Jamel Herring, he was really taking the school in that fight. And Oshaki is a much better boxer than Herring. Think about that for a moment. But this is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts about Lamont Roach putting in a challenge toward Oshaki Foster. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.